to be all mine. But it's really all mine. I love the belt, Luke. It's what you want to wear. Okay. I know that because women talk to me all the time. I tell her she listens. Mm, I love the detail. I love the embroidery. I'm proud of my whole collection because of how great my clothes look on. On me. Kmart gives me the freedom to design what I want. What I feel is right for Canadian women today. Can you say roll up the rim to win at Tim Hortons? Roll up the rim. No, no, no. No, I can't. Can you say win one of ten Ford Mustang convertibles? Win one of ten Ford Mustang convertibles. Do you know how to win one of 500 Toshiba 27-inch TVs? Roll up the rim to win. Yikes. Hey, I won. How about one of 2,000 Tim Hortons coffee lovers' kits? Roll up the rim to win. Or one of five million instant prizes. So come on in and... Lysol, clean, yes, germ, no. Lysol, a complete line of products for your entire home. Clean, yes, germs, no. Feelings. Hello, allergy sufferers. It's me, Grass. Can we talk? So, I make you a little sick when I pollinate? Pollen schmollen. Stop fetching and take Claritin already. It works fast on your itchy eyes, runny nose, and sneezing. And for extra allergic congestion, take Claritin extra. But why listen to me? Claritin is a non-drowsy brand doctors recommend most. So, what are you waiting for? Each week, Hum, known as Humble Howard, drops by and entertains us all with tales of his home life. But what of his professional life? What does professional husband do when he's not home being professional husband and has to earn his daily bread? Well, we decided to send a camera to work with Howard one fine day. Why are, why are the cameras on yet? We're doing vintage Humble and Fred material here. And we've got the people, I got my buddy from the Deanie Petty show here shooting a little snippet of the Humble and Fred show. Here he is. There we go. Is it working? Is that the opening shot? Beauty. How are you doing? It's Peter. It's uh, 17 minutes after 8 o'clock. Could the lights be brighter? The difference between TV and radio, lights and everyone's got makeup on. That's right. Now, you and I aren't wearing any makeup. No, not at all. Everyone else on the show, uh, Marla, she's yeah. like totally made up. She's got the I'm hair. Car putzed. She's got uh, like a, an inch of base. Dan's got the hair like, frizzed up. Yeah, that Dan's Marla. got his. Dan, <laughs> you know what? Dan doesn't go anywhere without his own makeup kit. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? No, I know. He actually puts a beauty mark on his on his cheek. Look, yeah, he's got, it's ridiculous. Today, today he's got the Cindy Crawford look going. <laughs> no, with and, the flip happening and the stick on mole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dan gets his yeah. moles at Moles R Us. Really? Yeah, he's got yes, the, he does. The yes, Cindy he does. Crawford look. He looks like Rodney Dangerfield. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that part yeah. of the oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Oh, yeah. Freddie, right at the camera. <laughs> look at him looking at the camera. Freddie goes right Fred at the face. camera. Mm -hmm. Fred. Actually, it's funny because Fred's been on the show on, right. on Dini Petty. How many times? Like seven or eight oh, times? Oh, at least. Fred, make the face you make on Dini Petty. Make that one face. There it is. That it's distressed face. face, yeah. yeah it's funny because mm -hmm. the, the guy who's shooting this, uh, Peter and I, have done a couple of things on uh, on remote where we've gone out and talked to people in malls and stuff. And what happens is, no matter how bad the bit's going, I always get Fred to make the same face at the end of every <laughs> one of them. And it never fails to get a laugh. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Humble, what kind of face would you make? I don't make the faces. You don't make the I'm face? I'm the guy with I'm, I make, I have, actually, I have, at the start of the Dini Petty show for two years, they have a little headshot, it's called, of what I'm going to be doing that day. And for two years straight, I've made this face, right? Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready, Pete? It's kind of like... It's, it's a signature, like, though. It's a signature face. I, ra I, I raise the one eyebrow, uh -huh. yeah. and, I, and, I, and I continue to make this look until they say, all right, cut. I'm Marla. I do traffic on Howard's show, and I can tell you that he's a hard worker, huge talent, and a consummate professional. I'm just looking here at the, uh, the appendix of uh, Patrick... <gasps> oh. Oh. Hi, I'm Dan Duran, and I produce uh, the Humble and Fred Show, and I want to tell you that Humble Howard is a, a hard worker, huge talent, and, uh, well, a consummate professional. Hey, man, have you ever wondered what President Franklin Roosevelt slept with every night? I'm an intern here at the Humble and Fred Show, and uh, I've only known Howard a short time, and he's a, he's a hard worker, uh, a huge talent, and a uh, consummate professional. 
Was it a, was it a hot water bottle, a gun, or um, St. Bernard? Hi, everybody. I'm Fred Patterson. I uh, co-host the Humble and Fred Show with Howard. And if anybody knows this guy, I know him. And let me tell you, he's a hard worker, a huge talent, and a consummate professional. He had a gun. It was tucked underneath his pillow. You're absolutely correct. Yes. <laughs> hard worker, huge talent, consummate professional. Hard worker, huge talent. Consummate professional. I'm Dee Petty, and I've worked with Humble Howard for many years, and I would say that he is a hardworking, 